What's going on, everybody? This is your fellow paisano, Mr. Reno Zaurini. Another edition with Calcio with Reno. Of course, I'm going to sit here and talk about my lovely Juventus because I have lots to talk about about Juventus. The day after Sassuolo and Juventus. Then I give my little bit two cents about the other teams. But tomorrow, don't worry, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll say uh, my thoughts about the Milan and the uh, Napoli game. And of course... Uh, Wednesday, Inter and uh, Benfica, which in the middle of this conversation, there will be some little bit p tiny pieces of news about Inter and uh, Milan and so on. I give a little bit of everything, but I want to start off with the Juventus. Okay, the day after of Juventus and Sassuolo. Guys, you have no idea how pissed off I am. I don't know if any one of you watched this morning my Buongiorno da Vancouver. I explain myself in Italian. I am really sick and tired about this team. Like, people still defend the coach. People still defend the players. Guys, we got to put a head on our shoulder because we got seven games left. Even with the 15 points, we still got to be careful. We still got to be careful because on Thursday, it won't be that easy if we play like this. And Sunday against Napoli, I have no idea because... The problem with this team, this is Allegri, okay? He shows up. His priority is to tie the game. He's not thinking about winning. He, he's thinking not to mistake to concede a goal. And the game in the team are pretty like uh, Asini. You know, the boring game of the first half. Like, passy, long, like, very slow and boring. But Sassuolo, they were attacking and we were lucky that Berardi was in there yesterday. Also, it's going to be like 3 4 2, 4 0, whatever, like what happened with Milan and Sassuolo. But in the second half, they conceded that goal, which it was a mistake from Fajuli, which I feel very bad for Fajuli because the poor kid was crying. So, Fajuli, stay strong. Say, you want to You're true, Juventino. Don't worry. Don't let it get to you because as soon as that happened, Allegri takes him out. It puts Paredes. Then he puts Keza. Uh, Keza, yes, he showed some green dot. He was doing everything by himself on the left, on the right, but he did mistakes too, man. Even Danilo Milik, inguardable. Like, you can't, I don't know what was up. And Valwic, this Valwic, man, he's really pissing me off, man. Like, we were lost seven games. Seven games. And this that hasn't happened with Juventus, even with Conte. Think about how long has this been. You know? Like, it, it's too much, man. This guy needs to go and the people defend him. Oh, Allegri is the best. Oh, Allegri is, Allegri is a chooch. You understand? And even the players. I can't wait. We have a, a new director, Sportivo, in the summer and have some changes with the new coach. That can guide, because you guys cannot sit there and say, oh, I let it play the games. With this non jogo and this way of playing, it is a disaster. And don't think that Alec is going to stay another year if they don't give him the players that he wants. I understand we don't have the money, so get rid of this guy. Get a, a, a coach, a, a regular coach, even Turo. I don't care, Italiano. I don't care. As long as someone brings soccer. Capish? Icaccio. I have enough of this. But besides that, we got to wait and see because uh, not good. Not good. And don't sit there tell me about Inter losing 11 times. Mina, I don't care about the teams. I care about my team. It's unfortunate because we're, we're behind them. But even with the 15 points, we're third because lots to catch up. And then we got Roma, Milan, and uh, Inter uh, five points away from uh, Roma. So let's not come with if Inter loses the Champions League against Benfica. These guys are going to find their way. Then what? And then we, we become cacas and we, we won't even be able to make the fourth place. Come on, guys. Ah, mommy, I, I understand that he did a lot because we to what's happened. But did you watch Report? <laughs> I suggest you people, for you understand the Italian, watch report of what happened. Cacciopoli, it was almost the same thing. And it's all 
have to put the blame on Juventus, which there are other teams. But I'll save this discussion another time. So, man, I'm just really fed up. So we're just going to wait for the news on uh, Wednesday, which will be 5.30 in the morning Vancouver time, because it's going to be 2.30 in Italy. That they're gonna, it's going to be the sentence that they're going to tell us everything what's going to happen. And we'll see from there. Well, what a pretty interesting Serie A this week. Mitzi got Inter losing uh, with Monza. With this, uh, a nice goal from the first corner from Monza. And the guy, uh, can't remember his name, sir. I'm really bad with the names. But that kid used to play in the youth <laughs> of Inter. Uh, Milan 1-1. One, one. Which is still fourth place. Roma managed to win 3 0. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. It's Milan and uh, Napoli. Then there will be the final countdown for Inter Benfica because if uh, Inter loses, Inzaghi might be sacked, I heard. And another note that Lukaku won't be staying at Inter. So he's going to get out in the summer after the season ends. As what I know about Inter, then I will keep it updated. Go, we'll find out more about Inter on Wednesday. So let's enjoy some culture this week. Let's see what happens with these boys between Milan and Napoli and Inter Benfica. Then, of course, the Europa League, Juventus, Sporting, and then Roma Finals. How you freaking call that team? So, yeah, there you have it. Put a like and subscribe. and that's it. Have some fun with Culture with Reno. Ciao, ciao, ragazzi.